Can we turn the y'all tell them turn the music off so we Coach, go ahead and start off with a statement and we'll take questions. Just really proud of our team finding a way to win the game. Uh, you know, went up 10 nothing, blocked the punt. Um, then momentum went the other way after the interception. Um, you know, right before half, JC, Carla, uh, JC stops him on the fake field goal. We're able to get the Hail Mary. Um, Proud of our offense in the second half. You know, I thought felt like we were able to really run the ball. Converted on a couple of fourth downs. Harrison Nevis was incredible on that 50-yard field goal. And then, you know, for them to go down and score to make it a two-point game, our quarterback's out uh, for, for Beatty to put it on his shoulders and to, to give us that rush, two, 254 yards. Um, just really proud of him. And, and uh, congratulations to Martez Manuel for his first career interception. So a lot of team stuff in that game to find a way to win. So with that, I'll open it up for questions. We'll start with Dave Matter. Hey, Eli, can, can you say what happened to Connor, if, if you even know at this point? And at what point did Tyler become your choice to replace him should something like that happen? Um, yeah, I don't know exactly. It, it looked like a uh, – Soft tissue injury and, and still evaluating that, but but I think it's a soft tissue injury. Um, it was really situational. We've been practicing Mako and some some four minute offense stuff, and uh, on that down and distance, we were just you know I didn't didn't want to try to uh, force the ball. Was trying just to make it into a manageable field goal range, uh, and that was a play that that uh, Mako had, had been practicing and, and executed well. So that's what we went with. Um, but but. You know, Brady's right there, too. Uh, if it had been a different situation, uh, probably would have went with Brady. But but that was a situation we knew Mako was was ready to execute. And then uh, at the end of the game right there, felt like we were going to need some quarterback runs uh, potentially. And, and, and uh, you know, for him to pull it on that last zone read for a touchdown was pretty cool. Eric Long. Hey, Eli, did you see the necessary improvements coming off the bye that you were hoping for from your team tonight? I have to go back and watch film. Um, you know, I, I think we really wanted to uh, start fast in the first quarter, uh, and we did outscore them in the first quarter. Um, you know, we wanted to cut down on penalties. I don't think we did that. Uh, uh, and then the turnover battle, I think with that last interception, we, we maybe got it to even. So I think that's good. Lyle Bromberg. Eli, uh, could you walk us through that uh, decision and play call at the end of the uh, first half to get that touchdown? Um, you know, once we we had one timeout left, um, and I thought, you know, if if they didn't make it, we would have maybe a couple of throws. And then once they faked it, I think there was 15 seconds left, we threw it to uh, – can we get them to be quiet out there? Uh, we, we threw it to Barrett on, a, on an out route, and then we had another play, and they threw it to, to Beatty, and then we were able to – Go Hail Mary there. We were trying to get in field goal range, but we're just about five yards out of field goal range, so we went with Hail Mary. Callum McAndrew. Hey, um, I'm just wondering, uh, talking about Tyler uh, Tyler Beatty a little bit there. He went for 294 yards today. Um, just are you running out of superlatives for this guy, or what's, what's going on here? Um, yeah, I guess he did go 294. I mean, he's a great player. I've been saying it for a long time. He's probably the best player that nobody's talking about. Um, you know, he's really the engine that drives us. And, uh, you know, he's just got a big heart. And uh, he's a competitor and, and showed it tonight. Mitchell 40. Eli, you've obviously been willing to feed Tyler plenty of carries all season, but never quite to this extent. Is it going into the game, did you expect him to, to have that type of a workload? Or was it something where you just said, you know what, it's working, let's stick with it? We're just trying to win the game. He wants to win. I want to win. This team wants to win. And we're just trying to do whatever it takes to win this game. And, and uh, that's what it took. Wilson Moore. 
Uh, Eli, going back to that last play of the first half, is there a specific range that you and uh, Connor are comfortable airing it out to the end zone there, or is that more of just a feel thing? No, I mean, we, we got a we got a, a, a arm distance where we feel like he can throw it, and then we've got a leg distance where we feel like Harrison can kick it. Andrew Kaufman? Coach, I know it's – just after the game, you don't want to play the what-if game, but if Connor can't go next week, who, who is the number two quarterback? Do you have someone in mind? I got no idea, Andrew. I haven't. I'm going to sit up on my diet coke and go trick-or-treating, and then we'll figure it out in practice Tuesday, Wednesday. Bill Pollock? Yeah, hi, Coach. Um, two quick questions about that play. Did Tyler Beatty, before the Hail Mary, did he slip or did he go down – trying to stop the clock uh, and then just talk about the momentum that that play carried you into the second half and how big that was to kind of carry you guys. Cause you looked a little, little flat yeah, there. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you noticed. Uh, that's just an intelligent football play by Tyler Beatty uh, being in the middle of the field. If he tries to get too many more yards, the clock's going to run out. We're not going to have a next play. So he surrendered himself, went down clock stops we were able to use our last time out and get the perfect play call on um so tribute to him in in his football intelligence um and absolutely i mean what happens right before half usually carries you off that's why i've been uh well yeah, that's why there's a, a philosophy about how we play the before half and um uh, so it was uh, it was a good deal for us and a last question from mitchell 40. I know obviously it's right after the game. You haven't had a chance to look at film yet, but do you have a sense of, of maybe what um, went into those two long runs, quarterback runs for Vanderbilt? Um, yeah, I mean, any time the quarterback runs in a six-man box, then you've got to fit it perfect. Otherwise, they're a plus one on you with the court, with the tailback lead blocking. Um, so, obviously, we got out of our lanes. Uh, our free safety wasn't able to knock it down. So... Um, you know, I'll have to go back and look. I think one of them we had a twist on on and we weren't able to get the end back across uh, the, the tackle. So it created an, an extra A gap or a, a wider A gap than normal. Um, but I'll have to go back and look. Thanks. Thanks for ruining the, the last part of that question, Mitchell. I was on a high note and then you had to bring that up, buddy. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you, coach. We'll be right back with players. Yeah, appreciate it.